There are some Android apps that don't allow you to take screenshot or record screens while using them. For example, if you are browsing in incognito mode in the Firefox app and try to take a screenshot, you will get an error message saying cannot capture screenshot, the page contains personal information. You will face the same issue in other restricted apps like OTT apps, authenticator apps, private messaging apps, banking apps etc. So in this video, I am going to show you how to take screenshots in restricted apps on Android. Guys, this method will work on any Android phone or tablet without root access. All the files that we are going to use in this method are available on GitHub which is owned by Microsoft. So this method is completely safe to use. First of all, we have to download an application called Expose Disable Flag Secure. This application will enable screenshots in restricted apps. To make it work without root, we need to download another two applications called LSPatch and Shizuku. So in total, we have to download three applications. Let's download and install them one by one. Open your browser and search Expose Disable Flag Secure GitHub. Visit the first link. Scroll down and click on the latest release link that says Compatibility Update. Download is Expose Disable Flag Secure APK. After downloading, just install the application. Next, search for LS Patch GitHub. Open the first link. Scroll down and click on the latest release. After that, click on this manager.apk and download the application. After downloading, install the application. We can download the third application, that is the Shizuku application from both GitHub and Play Store. Let's download it from Play Store. So we are done installing the three applications. Now let's proceed to the setup process. First, open Shizuku. As you can see, it's showing that Shizuku is not running. To start Shizuku, you need to connect your phone to your computer and run an ADB command. To send ADB commands from your computer, we have to do some setup. So please follow the steps. First, you have to enable USB debugging on your phone. To do so, open the settings app. Go to about phone. Then tap the build number 7 times to activate developer options. Once you are in developer mode, go back. Tap on additional settings. Developer options. From here, enable USB debugging. Next, on your computer, Download SDK Platform Tools. After downloading, extract the file. Go to the Platform Tools folder. Now, connect your phone to the computer using a USB cable. Make sure the USB is set to file transfer mode. Now, inside the platform tools folder, hold shift plus right click and select open in terminal or open PowerShell window here. In the terminal, type dot slash adb devices and hit enter. Once connected, you should see your phone listed here. Now, to start Shizuku on your phone, just enter this ADB command. I'll provide this command in the video description. After running the command, open Shizuku. You can see Shizuku is now running. But it's saying that to make it work properly, I have to enable an extra setting in my developer options. If you also see this warning, just click on read help. 
Here it tells that for Realme, Oppo and OnePlus devices running ColorOS, we have to disable permission monitoring in developer options. So let's do it. After doing that, open Shizuku again. Now you can see the red warning is gone. Next, we have to give Shizuku access to the LS patch applications. For that, click on this authorized application tab. Here, enable the toggle for LS patch. After that, open the LS patch application. If you see Shizuku service is not connected message, then clear the app from the recent tab and reopen the app. Now, Shizuku service is available for the LS patch application. Next, go to the Manage tab. Click on Modules. Here, you should see the Disable Flag Secure module that we installed previously. Now, everything is set up and we are ready to remove screenshot security in any restricted apps. Go to the Apps tab. Click the plus button. First, you need to select a directory where you will have patched APK files. Just select any folder. Click the plus button again. It gives you two options. You can either select an APK that you downloaded from the internet or you can select an app that you already installed on your phone. I am going to select the Firefox app that is already installed on my phone. After selecting your targeted app, click on Portable. Then click on Embed Modules. We'll embed the Disable Flag Secure module. So just select it. Tap the Yes button. Then check the box for override version code. Finally, click on start patch. Now it will patch the app and disable the flag secure module which is responsible for the screenshot restriction. After it is done, click on install. Click OK to uninstall the original version of the app and then install the patched version. Now it says installation successful. Here is the patched version of the Firefox app installed on my phone. LS patch also saves an APK file of the patched app. You can use this APK file to install the app on your other devices. Now I am going to open this Firefox application. The screenshot restriction in the incognito tab should be gone now. Let's open something in incognito mode. Now, if I take a screenshot, you can see it's capturing everything without showing any error message. It can also screen record and screencast in this app without any issues. So guys, this way you will be able to take screenshots or record screens in any restricted apps like video streaming app, authenticator app, private messaging app, banking app, etc. You can try it and I hope you will be able to get all the screenshots you need.